Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at a current event that has to do with math. So we're going to look today at a flat tax rate. That is when everyone in an entire country has the exact same tax rate, what it would have to look like, and how it would impact everyone. We're going to look today at that in America. Now to make the math work, what I've done is I've taken the all of the income in America and reduce that down to being $100. I've also taken all the people in America and reduced them down to being 100 people. So although it, the data was in percentages, I've reduced it down to people and dollars to try and make it, I don't know, bring it home a little bit. So let's show the first three columns here. The total income you see here in the first column is the amount of money made by the bottom 20 percent of the people. So although it's in dollars and people, that is saying that the bottom 20 percent of, of income earners in America earned 3.2 percent of all of the income. So if they were dollars and people, 20 people made 3.2 dollars which is about 16 cents per person on average and you can see that kind of filtering down the next 20 percent or the next 20 people earned eight dollars 30 cents which is 42 cents each the next group 72 cents each dollar 15 each dollar 91 each and the top five people earned four dollars 47 cents each this information came from a couple different websites. Um, Forbes had an article about um, tax brackets. That was all of the percentages that you see in there. And then an article called The Distribution of Household Income and the Middle Class, a, a scholar journal article. So now let's look at the next column, which is the tax percent. There's something called a standard deduction, which is a deduction that every household can have while filing your taxes. Basically, if you make less than a certain amount, you don't pay any taxes. So that standard deduction announced for 2015 is 12,600, I think. Um, in 2014, it was a little bit less than that. But there's also other deductions that people have. So what I did was I made it a standard deduction of 15,000. Just anything less than 15,000, you pay zero taxes. And 15,000, the difference between 15,000 and 12,000 on this type of a scale is basically doesn't exist. It just makes my math a little easier to do. So you can see up at the top there that the tax percent for the first 13 people out of 20, they're not paying any taxes at all. And and that's pretty standard that the people at the bottom aren't paying any taxes. As we go up, you'll see the taxes increasing. I want to explain one more thing. You see in column the third one right here, the third row, you'll see 20 people all at the 15% tax bracket are actually only paying 10% tax. The reason for that is that they're paying 0% tax on the first 15,000 that they earn. Then they're paying 10% tax on the, the money between 15,000 and 30,000. And then 15,000 or 15%, 15 I'm sorry, on the money that goes from 30,000 and up. So although they are in the 15% tax bracket, they are paying 15% for some of their income. They're also paying 10% and 0% for other parts of their income. And that's how the scaled income tax works. That's how it functions. So you can see the, the tax information there and the approximate percent that these people would actually be paying. Let's break that down into actual money. So the first group, the first 20 people are paying on average, like a teeny little percentage, only the ones at the top of that group are paying anything. So the amount that we said was zero. They, they start with 16 cents, they end with 16 cents, they're not paying any taxes. That's all they earn total, $3.20 for the whole 20 of them. The next group is paying about 7.5% taxes, meaning that they go home, they start with 42 cents, they go home with about 39 cents. And then you see the group that's earning 72 cents out of the $100, they go home with about 65 cents, they're paying about 10%, 7 cents tax. And then the group, uh, the next group of 20 has a dollar 15 that they started with. They pay 15% tax. They go home with 98 cents each. And then the the group that earned $191 are paying a 20.25%. 
and that means that they go home with the dollar fifty-two. And then the people who are at the top is the most complicated tax bracket. There are actually about four different tax brackets within those top five people, um, which makes it very complicated. I set a maximum because you, to have a percentage, you you need to have a maximum of of ten million dollars that they earned. So this amount actually might be a little low. It might might make the total a little higher but the maximum amount they could pay is only 39.6 percent so it's actually not that far off it's within a percent so again having it be 10 million versus 100 million it would, wouldn't change the percent all that much um, and and because the amount is set at four dollars 47 cents the percent changing by one percent doesn't really have a huge impact. So you can see that the amount they keep would be $2.73. This is when things actually get kind of exciting because we found out that the amount of tax that we collect total is $19.95. That's out of $100. So 19.95 out of 100 is a percent. That's why we switched everything to being percents out of 100 because now I know if I want to collect $19.95 tax and I want to have the same exact tax rate for every single person in the country, I would need to have my tax rate be 19.95%, almost 20% to collect the same amount. If I have an argument, if I argue that I can reduce the tax to 10% across the board because some people pay zero and some people pay more. So if you put it at 10%, everyone would be even. Um, that doesn't really match the numbers. The numbers say you would need a, about a 20% tax on everybody to even out across the board, as you can see here. So what that would do for everyone on the first row, um, row there, you would have the 20 people that are earning 16 cents would actually end up going home with th uh, 13 cents instead. The next 20 people that are earning 42 cents would be dropped down to 34 cents. So they're making a little bit less. 72 cents would drop down to 58. Dollar 15, they'd go home with 92 cents. The second to last column, this the last 20 people here and here would actually end up with a little bit more money you'd end up with instead of a dollar 52 you'd end up with a dollar 53 that makes sense because your tax rate is now less than 20 instead of being 20.25 and this group here would be impacted um, the the most in the positive amount where instead of going home with $2.73 each they would all they would go home with $3.58 each so their rate would be dropped from 38.9% down to 19.95 percent to match the the flat rate that everyone gets so some conclusions that we can make about this first the flat rate would need to be at least 19 percent it needs to be that high you have to make it consistent to collect the same amount of taxes that makes sense a flat rate tax would benefit the top earners in the country they would be making more money and a flat rate tax would increase the taxes for the poor and middle class. Anyone earning less than about 150000 per year would be impacted negatively by this flat rate of tax. So here are some references for you. That's where I got a lot of my information. Again, from Forbes.com and the distribution of household income in the middle class by Craig K. Ewell. L Elwell. So I hope that information has been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.